They're just existing. They're not living with Christ. When you live with Christ, you can't help it. You just like you just look at them, and you and you look really funny because you're supposed to look funny when you're in love with somebody. Every man in this place will look foolish for a girl if they know that's the right one. I've looked like a fool for her, and I loved it. It's okay. So should we not look like a fool for Jesus? Keep it all together. You know how many people have problems with us? <laughs> I love that y'all start laughing. You all know a lot. A lot of people have a lot of problems with this church. We said it the other night, but we have, we have people that are upset that, that there's too much joy. If somebody ever tells me that, it's my exact response. Oh, wait, say it again. I don't think I heard you. Say it again. Say it again. All right, go. Ready? Okay, go. Too much joy can't be from God. All right, just maybe text it to me. I don't. People, people think that if you have too much joy, it can't be from God. True story in this church. People think you read your Bible too much. Okay, well. It's got the words of life, but uh, you know, you know the scripture that says that knowing the truth will set you free. Like, how do you know the truth? Because who's the truth? Jesus, Jesus is the truth, right? Yes. But Jesus is also called the Wait. Word. So to know the truth, you got to know the Word. Some of y'all have a heartbeat, but you're not alive. Some of y'all are actually you're breathing, but you are. Living so much anxiety. Some of you are not living because of guilt, shame, regret, fear, pain. Some parents are waiting for their kids to sleep through the night so they can pursue God. We are supposed to be crucified with Christ and still live. Say live. live. Some of you have been abused and gone through hard times. You've been rejected. You have a job you don't love and you've been dumped. But you're supposed to live. So we're going to pray over each person that wants prayer for life. Tormenting, lying spirits will be silenced in this room. Because either Jesus is real or he's not. I think my favorite thing about the Bible... Can you play something to make me sound like maybe like really anointed or something? <laughs> Sometimes you've got to call things like for what they are. Hey, just play on their emotions, Austin. Let's do it. No. Just like start on a minor chord and then we'll go from there. Well, it just, there it is. You feel that? <laughs> See, some of y'all, that's all you know of the spirit in life. Oh, the music's on altar call. Stop playing. Stop playing. This is how you live your life, though. Oh, I'm crucified with Christ, but you gotta live. I just don't feel it. Start playing. Oh, he's here. <laughs> he's here. Do you feel him? Uh, the air conditioning turned on, and he started playing music at the same time. The rea Stop playing again. Uh, stop playing. This is most of y'all's life right here. Just random, right? It's random. I'm just trying to seek the Lord. Oh, my. I just want to live in Christ. Oh, it's so hard. Start playing. Oh. I, just, I just feel him with me. He's like... It's almost like he showed up. Like, I know he was here, but now, like, he's really here. If some of y'all had somebody playing piano behind your life, you'd think Jesus was with you, everything you did. Do you feel the presence of the Lord? I don't even know if I can forgive my mom, but he's here. No, somebody's playing music. And I say that because this. Those dry times in your life are the times that there are people going to step into your life and they are coming into your life specifically to cause you to slow down. They're not there for any other reason. You pursuing Jesus, I promise you this, when you feel like you're about to hit the top of that hill, 
Like, I'm going. I'm not letting my foot off the gas. Somebody's about to show up and be like, really? Is that real? Is your faith even real? Speaking in tongues, really? Were they really healed? Where's the doctor's note? I'm going to hit you. I'm going to pray for you. You can go to the doctor and get your own doctor note, right? It's only there to cause you to go into neutral. The devil is not concerned if you go backwards. He just doesn't want you to go forwards. But see, we are so, as a culture, trained. The music comes on at the end of the service. You can put your Bibles away. We're coming to the close. This is what I came to church for. I'm going to get Jesus today. And see, the whole service, Jesus is like, I'm right here. I'm right here. Tomorrow morning when you get up and you're like, oh, I wish I'd slept two more hours. Jesus is like, yeah, I know, but I'm right here right now. I'm right here right now. I want to live through you right now. See, on Judgment Day, this is not going to be playing. Y'all know at Judgment Day, Eddie James is not going to be singing. Eddie and the band aren't going to be there like, hey, saved. <laughs> it's going to be you and a holy God. And you're going to feel like a fool right in front of him. Because he's God. He's perfect. He's sitting on fire. So do you want to walk closer to Christ, Cruz? He walked away. He wanted to walk closer to Daddy, I think. What if this was how your life was all the time? But not with music, with the Spirit of the Lord. See, the Spirit of the Lord, there's no melody that plays all the time. Sometimes it's fire. Sometimes it's rest, lay down in green pastures. Sometimes it's a kick in the backside. Get up and do something with your life. I bet some people in this room ignore those kicks like, oh, thank you, Lord. No, don't just stand there. Move. So I say tonight, do you want to live? Like actually live? See, during revival, you don't have to keep something going. Revival, you might as well get revived every time you show up. Every morning you wake up, you might as well say, Lord, I need revival today. I know I went to sleep, but something in me is still not dead. I need it to be dead so that you can come to, li to life in my life. That's how suicide leaves. Joe tried to kill himself the night before he came here. But when the Lord says no, there's no strength Joe could have to kill himself. For those of you in this room that deal with depression, that is not from God. That's not God's lot in life for you. Oh, Paul had this thorn in his flesh. I think depression's my thorn. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I'm going to cut it off tonight if you want to be free of depression. Some of y'all thought you've gone as high as you... Hear me. Some of y'all thought you've gone as high with Christ as you can go. And it doesn't get better than what you had. It's a lie. It's a lie. Man, two weeks ago, I just really felt him. You know who's whispering that to you? The devil, not God. God's never going to be like, man, two weeks ago was great. Sorry. God's like, I got fresh fire, fresh manna, fresh oil. It's ready to flow right now. Are you ready to receive it? See, real life with Christ is dying. On Monday night, some of the men got together. I want to tell you, I have heard report after report after report of the men pursuing their wives and loving their wives. And we only lead as we follow Christ closely. I can't love her or lead her unless I'm followed so closely after him and died to me so that, I, so that only he can live through me. I can't even love her without him. Some of y'all have existed for so long, it's all you know. 
There's somebody watching tonight. You have existed for so long. Your life has been so poor and so pitiful that you think that's all there is for you. But I want to tell you something. In one moment, your life could change. And I know that because my life changed. Whose life has changed in this room? Who wants it to change again? I do. But see, if you want to stay the same, you'll stay exactly the same. God's not going to get through your mess and say, I know you, you might not want it now, but you'll want it later, so just receive it. What did Jesus say to all the disciples that were following him? When all the Pharisees were calling Jesus basically a heretic and a false teacher, what did he say to the rest of the disciples? You want to leave too? See, Jesus is not about the multitude. Jesus is about everyone who wants to follow him. So what if tribulation started tomorrow? Uh, have you read your Bible? Uh, there's a rapture before the tribulation. You read your Bible and tell me exactly where it says that. I'm ready for a rapture, but I'm ready for the tribulation. Either way, we better love Jesus right now. Well, we're going to be here for the thousand-year reign. Good, I hope so. But, like, if we're not, I need to love Jesus today. That's all great. We can discuss eschatology at another time. I love it. I'm fascinated by it. It's amazing. It's not black and white. It's gray. But what's black and white is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords saying, come to me all who are hunger, all who are thirsty, and, I, and you will never hunger, you will never thirst again. James, you will never hunger or thirst again, except after him. 